Well, greetings, YouTube. If you're watching this, that means it is time for the vacuum of the month. And for those of you unaware of the vacuum of the month, that's where you, the viewer, get to decide what vacuum I'm going to vacuum my whole house with for a month. And considering the square footage of my house, it's a bit of vacuuming to do with just one vacuum. Now, this month I gave viewers a choice between a Milo Red Velvet and my central vac, and I'll announce which one it's going to be in a minute. But first, I wanted to take the time to read some fan mail. <laughs> Actually, I want to read some flamers uh, on camera. So we're going to read what was held for review on the YouTube account. Uh, and my, I think my favorite are the ones on Dyson. Those are always kind of the juiciest. Um, so this was on my V10 Animal uh, review, and I think it's really funny. Uh, obviously, your central vac is a piece of shit. Good, good to know that one. That was a good one. Uh, the other one was honestly all I hear is wah wah wah. I'm a bitch. My wrist is sore. Exchange, exchange the Dyson. Get a gym membership when you go back to Costco, and U is spelled with the, just the letter U. Uh, I think that's really funny. Um, I'm not going to brag or anything, but I'm, I'm, I, I know I'm one of the more fit uh, vacuum YouTubers, uh, especially on this side of the pond. Actually, all you guys in Britain seem to be pretty uh, okay, but um, anyways, on this side of the pond, we're not going to get into who's the fittest, that's not important. The point is, that when you tell a fit person to go to the gym is really, really funny. Um, the other which is people seem to not understand the difference between the word non-sponsored and non-biased. I have many years as a vacuum technician that have made me very biased against bagless vacuums and overall crap. So yes, I am going to treat Malaysian crap like Malaysian crap, Chinese crap like Chinese crap. That being said, I love my Chinese wife. Um, the other one from a, uh, that was good on that, again, that Dyson V10 is, damn, you shit all over Dyson. Yes. Yes, I did. And now I'm going to get demonetized. Uh, another bit of fan mail is, uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, go follow us on Instagram. The link's in the description below. Real quick, uh, I post, reposted a video of me, you know, servicing a shark properly. And, uh, of course, that involves a dumpster. And uh, I was informed that it sounds very similar to the other proper way to dispose of those zombie sharks, which are to run them over with a car. This keeps them from resurrecting. So that, that, that was a technique that was procured by uh, Mr. Becko, 1987. Uh, I have a link to his page on my channel. And the last piece of a uh, thing I want to read, actually it's more of a generalization. I wouldn't say it's a, um, you know, really a general thing. So, I am on many different internet forums. You know, I watch the vacuum traffic, what's going on online. And uh, one thing that's particular I've noticed is Reddit seems to be pretty clear to the point and to the facts. That's great. Facebook, there's some drama, but it's mostly the cool, hey, I just got this vacuum, here it is. That's awesome. And then there's vacuum line. Now, the vintage section of Vacuum Land is very good and has a lot of good information. But there's something about the contemporary side of Vacuum Land that rather than facts and information being shared 100% of the time, there's a certain... It's not like the 3 or 10%, it's like 20 to 30%, and this is not a diss on Vacuum Land because I think the Vacuum Land is great, uh, that appear to be blinded by their own obsession. Um, and one thing, if you don't know me, is I love a good internet argument. So, 
I add a little fire to the flame occasionally, and you'll see me do this. It's not because I actually have something personal against them. It's I'm just bored at work. Um, so, <laughs> there's that. Uh, and recently I got into a conversation uh, with another YouTuber whose channel I won't mention. Uh, but we'll, we'll call him Mr. New Balance Man. Uh, and he was going on and on, and I, I simply just asked him to test a vacuum in a different way, uh, and he he responded with a kind of half-assed physics lesson, um, and then it began to mention, I don't know, mathematics and physics, and, you know, I would rather just, you just, just call, call me an asshole and move on with your day, but you start mentioning, lecturing me on physics, and you don't understand the simple air turbulence uh, concept, which is the concept of air turbulence is uh, f flowing through. So something like this, it's round and straight through, has almost no air turbulence. But something like a box has all sorts of air turbulence where things can go all over the place. Now, without giving you guys a nice, dry, boring physics lecture, because you don't turn into these videos to see physics lessons. You can go to Engineering Explained or somebody else who's a, a better example of that. Uh, but basically, if you're trying to measure airflow or trying to do something, you, you want something of cylindrical, round, or cone, even a cone shape would work uh, better, but when you use a square box, it just doesn't work. And I've been saying this for years, but I've never really sat and taken the time to explain that. Uh, but you can go look that up. I don't need to give you the physics lesson on that. And the other thing is air watts. There's actually a couple different formulas for calculating air watts. You can get up on Wikipedia. If you search air watts, you'll, you'll find it on the internet. There's, there's two different formulas for calculating that. Uh, so, and I, like I said, I don't put too much weight on air watts, but it's, it is kind of just one of the more, I hate to say standardized measurements, but, uh, ideally when we measure vacuum, we want to use working vacuum, is what's going to tell you, like, the actual power and the efficiency of the vacuum, but if not, what you want is you want both numbers. You want both torque and horsepower, which is CFM and, uh, inches of water lift, uh, at least that's what we use over here. Um, you might use like KPA or something like that in uh, in England. F please shout below and tell me what you use over there. But it was that that's what that whole thing was about, and that kind of spiraled out of control, and then somebody else added gas. That was real fun. So keep that up, um, New Balance man. Keep doing your keep doing your thing. I I'm, I noticed your channel's growing, so good for you, man. Uh, so let's get to the concept one. Now that I have gone through the internet gossip and uh, some of the mailbag. Now, if you want to write me a letter, or want to get a hold of me, I am very easy to get a hold of before I get started. I know I said I was going to do that on social media. I have a Facebook page, and I have an Instagram page, and you can even send me an email if you want, but I don't check my email. So, But those ways, I have ways for me to get a hold of performance reviews. And you can tell me how I'm wrong and how I'm the devil and all that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, but that's the best way to deal with me. So, let's see what we picked up after a month of vacuuming with this. And granted, I'm using the wrong bag. I'm using Hoover Y bag. So, what is the reality of changing this? And the machine no longer smells like laundry detergent, which kind of makes me sad. Oh, we might have a clock. Oh, no, we just have some buildup there. So we are going to seal this, because I do not want to breathe this. And if you guys can see this, this is puffing dirt, and it is a good thing we have an air purifier going. I cannot peel these. So I'm actually going to order a proper Hoover bag because these don't have the gaskets, which originally they did not. But we're going to give you an idea of what that picked up. That was a bit. Um, one thing I noticed upon using that, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you some video here in a minute, uh, is that it just seemed to clean better. It seemed to clean better than the Kirby, and it just it cleaned fairly well. Now we're just going to check the bottom side because that's the side. We're all curious how much of my wife's hair got wrapped around this thing. There's next to nothing. Uh, that is that is fucking amazing. I'm gonna tell you why that's amazing because I don't know. It's black on black, but there's quite a bit of hair wrapped around here, and that's only after a couple weeks of use. And I last used that, uh, so. That's cool. That was my Hoover concept. So, 
he'll be getting a new bag and he'll be sitting around for a minute. Um, so some other things I noticed while using this. I'm going to show you the video. Now, number one was noise. It is loud. Uh, the other thing I noticed when using this is it's actually pretty maneuverable. It actually gets pretty low, so I was really happy about that. And of course, transitions were relatively easy in comparison. Now, one other thing I noticed about using a direct air machine, and this is not picking on this machine or Kirby or any of those, but it is picking on all direct air machines, is I really had to watch what I pick up. As I'm about to demonstrate, I'm used to sucking up all sorts of things in my central vac that you just couldn't do with the normal vacuum. Alright, so we're going to put this all together, we're going to put the motor, we're going to rewire everything. Uh, we're going to use the black screws on this. Um, so that concludes that. Uh, my wife will be certainly glad we're not using that right now. So I'm going to announce the winner and I will appreciate everybody who votes and goes to our social media pages. You guys are all awesome, but not as awesome as our Patreon supporters because I have a special video coming up with a vacuum that the Patreon supporters purchased, so I'll explain that in a minute. So, if you're not familiar with Patreon, Patreon is a service where you, because you can go and throw a dollar or two our way, and we use it to make videos for the channel. Now, we're currently trying to get a particle counter and go to a 4K format. Now, if you don't care about 4K format, comment below. If you care about 4K, comment, 4K format, comment below. So, of course, I have chosen the Milo Red Velvet, or rather, you guys have chosen, I should say, and I like this vacuum a whole lot, but I have carpet, and this is a straight suction cleaner. So this is going to be real interesting. I'm curious to see if this straight suction cleaner will clean as well as the Kirby and the Hoover Concept 1 that I have been using. It is also very, very short in terms of the cord. It's only 25 feet, which in my house is a little short. Um, but I believe the Concept 1 has about the same length cord. We'll get to see. So, we're starting with an empty bag, pretty much. The only other demo things that have done in this bag, you guys have gotten to see on video. So, it is empty, and it is a period correct bag. I'm only going to use vintage bags through this Mila. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but I like this this vintage of bag. So we're going to vacuum with this and we are going to enjoy it and show you the results at the end of the month and you'll get to vote on another vacuum. Now I'm going to be going out of town for an unknown amount of days on a road trip so we're probably only going to see about half usage this month on that so but again this is a small bag, a small vacuum so we're curious to see if we get as much as this. And I'm going to save this bag and we're going to compare. So as always, stay awesome, get into an internet argument, thumbs this video up, subscribe to our Instagram account, which is pretty awesome, and uh, have a great day.